is not the end of the world. We're going to be moving into the fifth dimension, which is a whole new experience. It's a different vibration, it's different energy, and it certainly is requiring everyone on the planet to up their game, do their homework, and really resolve any past conflicts that you have. It's these past conflicts, both in this lifetime and in past lifetimes, that's keeping us blocked and unable to move forward. When we resolve these things, we're gonna better allow ourselves to move into this fifth dimension with more ease. The end of the Mayan calendar simply marked for them in time the end of the fourth dimension. They marked their calendars with all kinds of events, both political and in their experience with their culture, the way that people were revolting towards the end of the Mayan history, and the big move that they made out of their dwelling places. So don't worry about this being the end of the world. We're gonna see a lot of changes with the Earth. The Earth herself is going through a huge transformation and she's going to be a little bit topsy-turvy in terms of the changes, the shifts, her energy and the energy of the universe. So I suggest everyone simply buckle their seatbelt and get ready for what is going to be known as the golden era. This time of the golden era is very important because it is a higher vibration and we are all ready to meet this energy. We're all really ready for this, but we need to remember that the earth, the whole reason that we're alive and that we're here is also going through some changes and there will be some earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, but it's nothing that we can't handle. And certainly, as I said before, we're all ready. So enjoy this transformation and be ready to celebrate on December 21st because we're moving into the fifth dimension. Thank you.